This is Gary Fenton with the One O'Clock News. Severe weather has brought problems to many parts of Britain. Heavy rain has caused floods in the south. In the north, strong winds have damaged buildings and brought down electricity cables. Many people in Scotland will be without electricity for several days. The storms will slowly move northwards during the day, but it will stay very cold for the time of year. Can't believe this weather. It's supposed to be summer. Sean got soaked this morning. A lorry drove through a huge puddle and sprayed water all over him. Poor Sean. Has he dried out yet? I hope so. We're leaving to do another report in a few minutes. Well, in two days' time, I'll be on a warm, sunny beach, and it will be all barbies and surfboards. But it's winter in Australia now, isn't it? Well, it's nearly spring, but the weather's pretty good there all year round, actually. Sounds great. Oh, I like all the different kinds of weather that we have here. It's nice in autumn when the trees change colour, and in winter when it's cold and frosty. Anyway, I'd better go and call you a taxi. I'll give Alan a lift. You're going to the station, aren't you? It's on my way. Thanks. I'll just go and get my bags from Rebecca's office. Thanks for everything. Have a good trip, Alan. And send us some of that Australian sunshine. You're quite interested in Australia, aren't you, Tim? Yes. Well, Kangaroo TV is expanding, and we're going to need some new blood, particularly people with the kind of experience you've got. Sounds interesting. Well, if you are interested, one of our directors, Isabel Mendoza, is going to be at the Intertel conference in Amsterdam next month. Perhaps you could arrange to meet her there. Thanks. I might do that. But remember, Julia likes the British climate. <laughs> Bye. Have a good trip. Bye. I think it's a good idea, don't you? Huh? Gary, shall we do something to celebrate Julia's promotion? Sure. What about arranging a surprise dinner for her on Friday? Why Friday? She's working late, so it will give us time to get things ready. You aren't doing anything, are you? Okay, so who's going to do what? I'll cook my duck à la orange. You can't do that in a microwave, can you?、Uh, people travel miles for my duck. I'll do the vegetables and a dessert. And I'll get some champagne. Yes, Tim. I'd like to go to the Intertel conference next month. It's in Amsterdam. Ah,、oh, yes. Frederick's going to be one of the speakers there. But I thought you didn't like conferences. You've always refused to go in the past. Well, yes, but I thought it might be a good idea to, you know, keep up with what's going on in the business. Okay, but you'll need to put in a formal request for funding. Right. Could you get the information on the Intertel conference in Amsterdam, please, Rebecca? I'd like to know who's going to be there. Gary, can you take your shoes off if you're going to stand on the sofa? Someone get me that drawing, then. What? Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! It's all right. Gary's found it. Hello. Thanks, Ted. She's just left work, so she should be here in about twenty minutes. Oh. Julia Drake, isn't it? Yes. Hello, I'm Zoe Pierce. We're going to be working together soon, I gather. Oh 
Oh, you're going to be the director of that new series on the paranormal, aren't you? That's right. Look, are you doing anything at the moment? No, I'm just on my way home. Would you like to go for a drink? Or how about having a bite to eat somewhere? That would be great. It'll save cooking. Good. I always like to get to know the people I'm going to work with. She left work nearly two hours ago. I hope nothing's happened to her. My duck will be ruined if we don't eat it soon. I'm starving. She must have gone somewhere after work. That was a very nice meal. Yeah, I like this place. I came here with Tim once. So, you're looking forward to your new job? Yeah, it's going to be great. Well, here's to you, Julia. Congratulations. Thanks.